Welcome to in 5 minutes. Now we'll discuss some C string library functions. These are the built-in functions of C which are used to manipulate and operate strings. This will make some programs easy to write which are related to strings. Now there are some 15 to 17 different functions are there which do different kind of tasks. For example, there are functions to compare two strings, function to join one string at the end of other string, function to find length of a string, function that reverses the string and so on. Now let's see some few functions over here. Assume A is a string with value A, B, C, D, B with value A, B, C, D, E, F and C with P, Q, R. Now let's see some four functions over here. First function is string length function. The function calculates and returns length of a string. Name of the function is string length, S, T, R, L, N. It works like this. We need to write string for which you want to get the length and the length will be given as some variable value. In this case, length of a string will be calculated and stored into i. So in this case, we'll get i equal to 4, that is number of characters in string a. If you write i equal to string length of c, I'll get i equal to 3. Next is string copy. Function copies one string to other string. Name is strcpy. The syntax is like this. We write two strings over here, let's say a and c. It copies second string into first string that is c will be copied into a and result will be a will change c will remain as it is so after this operation is done string a will be pqr c will remain as it is then there is a function called as string concatenation function name is strcat the function concatenates that is joins one string at the end of the other string one of them changes one remains unchanged in this case, suppose we write like this, strcat b comma c. In this case, c will be appended at the end of b. After this operation is done, the string b will change and it will be combination of b and c string. b will change like this. Two string join together into b. c will remain unchanged. Then there is a function called as string compare. It compares two strings and result into answer as an integer. Now, how it works? It compares two strings and generates three different answers. It can be either positive, negative or zero. Now let's take an example. If you are suppose subtracting two values a and b which are let's say some numeric values, the result can be of three different types. If a and b are exactly same, answer will be zero. If a is bigger, answer will be positive. And if a is smaller, obviously answer will be negative. Same way your string compare virtually does subtraction of two strings and gives the answer as positive, negative or zero. Let's take an example. Here I'm writing a comma b. Now here we'll compare two strings a and b and return the answer as zero, positive or negative. Now let's see how we compare two strings given set of strings. Now for example here, now you are given some set of names. We have to arrange them alphabetically that is a, b, c, d, wise. How will arrange them? Obviously, first will be Ajay. Then there are two names starting with J, but one is J A, one is J O. So obviously, put this as second one. Third will be John. Then there is something starting with M, so that will take as a fourth string. Then there are two strings again, almost with similar spelling. So it's R I Y A and R I T A. So obviously, R R same. Let's see how you are doing the comparison. Then I I same. Here Y and T is mismatch. So with that character, we'll compare the two strings and say this is fifth string and this is sixth string. It means this is bigger than this. R I Y A Ria spelling is bigger than R I T A Rita spelling. That is how you do the comparison. Same way here the comparison will be done by C. Now A is A B C D and B is A B C D E F. It does subtraction like this A minus B. Now I'll compare A and A. Both are exactly the same. B and B, they are mismatch because it is case sensitive. So when it finds first character different, it returns the answer of that difference as a value. So it will be B, lowercase b ASCII code, minus uppercase B ASCII code. The return value will be positive. So in this case, we'll get the answer as positive value. That is difference between the first mismatch character. Now, when you want to really compare strings in your program, you are never supposed to write a less than b or is a equal to b. We should not write like this. We have to write string compare function, get the answer. If the answer is zero, it stands for a is equal to b. 
or if you create string compare and you get the answer as negative it stands for a is less than b but this we are not supposed to write with strings because they are arrays same way if you want to copy one string to other string you are not supposed to write just a equal to c we have to write strcpy a comma c this will be again invalid okay so we understood these functions that is string library functions when you'll be using any of these functions in your program or any other function of string we need to include one header file name is string dot h so we need to write a command hash include string dot h in your program at the top with other header files like we write mat dot h for square root or power functions same way to use these functions we need to write string dot h thank you